borrow. What exactly are you doing? I'm just checking to see how work tops in this range cope with spillages. I'm having sausages. He's not allowed. Put that down. Look, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor and I want my sausages. I tell you, he's finished. Bye-bye, please. Bye-bye. <laughs> now, look. He's finished. Give those to me. Come on, come on. No, it's not possible. <laughs> Later on, we'll be taking an in-depth look at acute schizophrenia from 9.20 to 9.23. And afterwards, we what else but euthanasia? We're going to be talking to a couple of people who pulled the plugs on their elderly mother, so you better watch out, dear. <laughs> Thomas Bartlett, I have here a warrant for your arrest. All right, if I do fix it for you, I never want to hear from you again, is that clear? Suits me, Dougie. <laughs> Very well, listen carefully, Blackadder. I won't repeat this. Put your underpants on your head and stick two pencils up your nose. <laughs> They'll think you're crazy and send you home. We have a range here made in Bavarian wool. Not Bavarian. We are here for the buying of the Harris Tweed. But they don't make Harris Tweed in Germany. I am knowing this. That is why we are here. When you finish this sentence, you're going to walk straight into another 15 years of it. Years, not months, and not in this holiday camp. I did not kill anyone. We know about the money. Emma Cryer and your own son were trying to get it out of you, weren't they? I deny any part in these murders. I had an impression of wild eyes. Made me think of the young Wittgenstein. If that means anything to you. Before or after his Norwegian period, sir. So you really do love her? Yes. And does she love you? How would I know? Not knowing is half the attraction, Inspector. As you'd realize if you've ever been in love. <laughs> <laughs>